Hi, I'm Ann Ray, senior editor at JSTOR. If you're like me, if you love a book, you want to see the movie. Sometimes, though, let's face it, I've watched the movie first. But who hasn't? But the cool thing about books being turned into films is that those films can often be just one more way to enter a text. Take the case of Wise Blood, Flannery O'Connor's 1952 debut novel. The 1979 film was directed by the legendary John Huston, whom you might know from films like The Maltese Falcon. There's plenty of scholarship in JSTOR about John Huston, but the Flannery O'Connor Review has some material about Wise Blood that no other journal has. Back in 1979, the journal published an interview with the screenwriter Benedict Fitzgerald while the film was still being shot on location in Macon, Georgia. When the interviewer asks Fitzgerald about the many motifs in Wise Blood, Fitzgerald says there was one that they had to use, which was the car that protagonist Hazel Motes drives. Fitzgerald says, quote, Hazel is obsessed by a need for a means of escape and has seized on the automobile that great symbol of modern freedom. Three decades later, in 2011, the Flannery O'Connor Review published a hybrid essay by scholar William Walsh, who describes, quote, driving around the countryside, visiting exactly where each scene of the film was shot to understand the interconnectedness of the novel and the film. Along the way, he interviews some actors from the film and examines all the locations in finding details that could be easy to miss, such as a misspelling in a message Hazel reads on a wall. Walsh notes that while the movie used a 1958 Ford Fairlane, in the novel, Hazel drives a Hudson, a Detroit line of cars that was made until 1957 and look like they came straight out of a Dick Tracy cartoon. While Walsh didn't think that the make of the car matters much, another scholar, Monica Miller, thinks that it does. Writing in 2014, she says that Hazel's quote unquote rat colored Hudson Essex not only matters, but it connects us to another truly American art form, rock and roll. Miller writes that the car and rock both are symbols of masculine power and that wise blood with its nihilistic vision and rebellion themes, quote, should be considered a foundational germinal text for the rebellion of American rock and roll, particularly for punk inspired rock band Ministry, who loved Houston's film so much that they sampled protagonist Hazel's dialogue from the film in their 1992 song, Jesus Built My Hot Rod. So whether you're studying Wise Blood the novel, or the film, or cars, or industrial metal, this title definitely has much to offer. Discover these gems and more in the Lives of Literature collection on JSTOR.